You know, in 2008, it became really clear that Barack Obama had been having sex with men and smoking crack. And a guy came forward, Larry Sinclair, and said, I'll sign an affidavit. And he did. I'll take a lie detector. And he did. I smoked crack with Barack Obama and had sex with him. Well, that was obviously true. Nobody reported it, not because they were squeamish about sex or drugs, but because the Obama campaign said anyone who reports on this gets no access to the Obama campaign. And so they didn't report on it. So that happens. That's just one small example. But that happens all the time with lots of different issues. Again, it's not going to change the world that Barack Obama likes dudes. I think this was well known. Barack Obama said so himself in a letter to his girlfriend. And by the way, that's kind of Barack Obama's business. I'm not attacking him for for liking dudes. I'm just saying the amount of lying in the media about it was unbelievable. Like people knew this was true and it was quite obviously true at the time. And people who covered the campaign didn't say anything about it because they didn't want to lose access to the campaign. You think you're holding government accountable, but actually they're controlling you. That That's really the dynamic in Washington. But, you know, you're living in the soup and it's hard to see it at work. And this is a long way of saying the conclusions I've reached are middle aged conclusions. And that's a lot of it. Right. It's just that I've gotten older and you can't see certain things when you're younger. And it's like young people, you'd think they'd be the most open minded of all. They're the least open minded because they're afraid of the future. So they want to believe whatever storyline they've been fed is true. Like the only problem with America is white supremacy and like our tax system is fair and Kennedy was assassinated by a lone gunman or whatever. They don't want to, un they don't want to face like the terrifying unknown and complexities of the actual world we live in, the reality of life, which is like, we have no freaking idea.